Welcome to the Clueless Urban Farmers Show. Yep, here I am, clueless again. Got a boring bowl of dandelion leaves right before your very eyes. And no, that's not the salad that I was really talking about today, but it's a way to start the video. Uh, I'm actually going to take a few leaves. I'm actually going to pick some fresh ones right from the garden and just make a little salad because I'm, I'm out there just doing some gardening and I got hungry. So I grabbed this bowl, actually dumped out most of these leaves, and I started making my salad in the garden. So stand by and watch and get hungry and try it yourself. But before I begin, I have to pay for this video. And one of the ways I do it is by exposing the dangers of the 5G radiation, 4G radiation, and it, how it affects your body because it's cooking you from the inside out. So if you're looking for any products, please support me by going to bryoventures.com and following links there to purchase products. There's everything from underwear to t-shirts to bed canopies to jackets. And of course I earn a very small commission but your price does not change at all by using my links and you'll help me to continue these videos. And now on with the show and the salad. Hey everybody it's the clueless gardener again. And I'm the first one to admit I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm trying. I'm just staring at my jungle of tomato plants. There is a real tomato plant back there and a bunch of cherry tomatoes. But that's not the purpose of today's video. Today's video is just a little bit different. Um, I'm out here working. Just uh, give you a quick scan of what's going on here. You can see from other videos I've kind of torn up the, the middle. I've harvested most things. I planted some more radishes. See them in there? Because I know they grow quick. At any rate, I'm out here and I'm, I'm, I'm wanting a snack. And I thought, well, let's eat something that's a little healthy. So what I did is I, I thought, well, what can I eat? Well, one of the things, I've got some chives here. So you can see in this little bowl here, I uh, picked out a few uh, chives. Put them there. Okay, so I needed something else, so I went in there, and I, well, actually, I had some inside, and I took those, but um, got a couple of cherry tomatoes here. I'm making myself a little bit of a, a salad. Now, you remember before I said I, I'm not very good at growing carrots, and uh, sure enough, they haven't grown very well, but if you go over there, you can see I've got a few that I planted later on in the season. Well... There was a couple in there. Look, at least they grew a little bit. So I got one. That's going to go into my salad. Uh, yeah, there's another one in here. There's another one. Big deal, right? <laughs> That's not going to fill me up. Okay, so we got the chives. We got some carrots. Yeah, I probably will cut it up a little bit later too, or, or not. And I got some cherry tomatoes. Now, see my lettuce? It's all gone to hell. I mean, it's it's old. It's end of season but uh, it's going to seed which I'm taking the seeds but I, I went around and I picked up some of the newer leaves and you can see they're in here so I'm gonna eat those I mean there's a few bits on there I may have to take off but uh, nothing too extreme I don't know how they're gonna taste who cares as long as it tastes semi good and now here's the surprise you guys look anyone have a clue what these are Dandelion leaves, yes. I'm making a salad out of some of the dandelion leaves. Here, let me just uh, let me just show you where I grab some of them. See, some of the dandelions are getting a little bit old. But if you go over here, you know, there's a dandelion plant uh, in there, and there's some more here, and some bigger ones there, and all around here, right? You can see. So what I do is I go to the newer plants, and I just pick some of the smaller leaves like even this one here there's a lot of uh, you know this one's not a real good example but uh, here so you can just take a small leaf won't be too bitter take that one and throw it in the salad see there you go 
I think it's going to taste good. Now, I've got something else to add to it. This is going to be a little bit of a surprise. Look, i got my coffee here. you got to have a coffee. I'm addicted. So, uh, I'm going to show you a little surprise here in a second. Okay, as mentioned, i got a little surprise here for you that I'm going to add to my salad. So, I'm just going to go into my freezer here. It's just a little freezer. And uh, look what i got here. Oops, don't know what happened. I lost the sound. At any rate, I'm just getting into my freezer here and I'm grabbing a frozen lime. Yep, that's right. A frozen lime. And I'll show you why right now. Somebody said on one of the videos that I watched a doctor that if you take the lime, you freeze it, and then you use a, I don't know, what do you call them, a scraper, grinder type thing, and you sprinkle it on your, your salad, apparently it's really good to prevent, I don't know, diseases, maybe even, I'm not sure which ones they have, that they said, but I'm going to try it anyways, okay? Well, I really don't have anything to hold my phone right now, but I've got a little, uh, what do you call them, scraper, I got my, my lime, and I'm just going to scrape a little bit of off, I've never done this before, so let's see what happens. Sure, you guys can figure out what I'm doing. Woo! That smells like lime. Boy, is that ever strong. That's good. Anyway, I don't want to do a lot because I'm only making a small salad. But uh, you can see it's right there. Let me uh, grab my my phone. Show you a little bit more. Like I say, there's the scraper or whatever you call it. Uh, <laughs> bear with me here I don't know the names and uh, there's my line and uh, there's where I scraped a little bit off I'm gonna throw it back in the freezer and keep it because this is just an experiment so uh, I'll be back in a sec so I drained the water off the salad I mean it's still pretty moist but who cares it uh, makes it slide down the throat easier no, I didn't cut anything up. I'm just going to eat it as is. If you guys want to be sophisticated and cut it up and make a fancy salad, go ahead. But you know what? I can't be bothered. It's all going to the same place and get chewed up anyways. So um, that's what I got. That's what I'm going to eat. And look, yeah, I still have my coffee here. So I've got uh, the lime that I took. See, just a little bit of it because I, I it's not a big salad. And I'm gonna sprinkle it throughout the salad. Let's see. Damn, it's hard to do this and hold the phone. <laughs> Any rate, yeah, I know it's all gonna fall off the dandelion leaves and the lettuce leaves, but I don't know. It's moist enough. Maybe it'll stay. There. I got rid of most of it. I'll I'll lick the the wax paper. <laughs> Why not? Hey, there's nobody here telling me what to do and what I can and cannot do. So, unlike the government, you know what the government is like. Anyway, you can see some of the lime. It's uh, mixed in there. I think it's going to be good. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Where's, where's a... I'm just going to eat a piece. Let me grab one. Look, it's a dandelion leaf and it's got some lime on the back of it. Hmm. That's a surprise. Listen, the dandelion's a little little bitter, but you get that little bit of a, a lime taste on it and gives it a little bit of zest. I like it. So uh, you guys can go away now. I'm going to eat my salad. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and you make yourself a nice, delicious salad next time you're out in the garden. And please remember to support me, visit BrioVentures.com and purchase some 5G protective clothing.